In this lesson, we're going to analyze exponential functions. We will identify whether the function is a growth or decay function, and we will identify the percent of increase or decrease. We learned in a previous lesson that an exponential function has the form y equals a times b to the x, and we learned that the b value is the factor or what we multiply by. We similarly learned that if the factor is greater than 1, we have a function that exhibits exponential growth, and if the factor is between 0 and 1, we have a function that exhibits exponential decay. Let's use this information to analyze an exponential function. In the function, we want to first determine whether the function shows exponential growth or exponential decay. Then we want to determine the percent of increase or decrease. Here's the first function y equals 3200 times 1.08 to the x power. We begin by looking at the factor. The factor is 1.08. The factor is greater than 1, therefore this function must be exponential growth. Next, we want to determine the percent increase or decrease. Because this function is exponential growth, we will have a percent increase, and we begin by looking at our factor, which is 1.08. If we convert our factor into a percentage, we have 108%. We found this by moving the decimal point two places to the right, which is how we convert from a decimal to a percentage. 108% came from 100% plus some amount more. That amount more is the percent of increase or decrease, and when we added them together, we ended up with 108%. What did we add to 100% to come up with 108%? 8. So we have an 8% increase. This function, y equals 3200 times 1.08 to the x, is an exponential growth function with an 8% increase. Here's an example for you to try. Can you determine whether this function shows exponential growth or decay, and then determine the percent increase or decrease? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We begin by looking at the factor, 1.25. The factor is greater than 1, so we have an exponential growth function. Now we have to determine the percent of increase or decrease. The factor is 1.25, which is 125%. We started with 100%, we added some amount to it, and we ended up with 125%. What did we add to 100% to get 125%? 25%. So our rate of increase is 25%. This function is an exponential growth function with a 25% rate of increase. Let's look at another example. In this exercise, we have the function y equals 75 times 0.2 to the x. The factor is 0.2. Because the factor is between 0 and 1, we have a function that exhibits exponential decay. Now we need to determine the percent of increase or decrease. Because we have a decay function, we will have a percentage decrease. The factor is 0.2. We move the decimal point two places to the right, and we find that the percentage is 20%. That means 20% remains. We started with 100%. We took some percent away and we ended up with 20% remaining. What percent was subtracted? 80%. So this function has an 80% decrease. The function y equals 75 times 0.2 to the x is an exponential decay function with an 80% decrease. Here's one last example for you to try. Here's the function y equals 3219 times 0.92 to the x power. Can you determine whether this function shows exponential growth or exponential decay, and then determine the percent of increase or decrease? 
Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We look at the factor. The factor is 0 0.92, which is between 0 and 1. When the factor is between 0 and 1, we have exponential decay. Now we need to determine the percent of decrease. 0 0.92 is 92 percent. 92 percent is the percent that remains. We started with 100 percent, we took some percent away, and that left us with 92 percent. What amount was subtracted from 100 percent to leave us with 92 percent? 8 percent. So we have an 8 percent decrease. This function is an exponential decay function with an 8 percent decrease. This is everything you need to know to get started analyzing exponential functions in order to determine whether the function shows growth or decay and to determine the percent of increase or decrease. Remember you can learn more about exponential functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook available at www.dorypublications.com.